All right, thank you. Our last presentation is by Anuat Penput from the University at Buffalo Department of Biomedical Informatics. Uh, I'm not gonna try to pronounce the kind of cancer. I will let him do that. And Anoa, you're on pressure because lunch is waiting for us. So <laughs> I'm not sure it's coming. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Anuat Pinkfoot. I'm a PhD student under the supervision of uh, Dr. Liu here. So uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, the ontology uh, representation of uh, for choranchial carcinoma. I don't know if it's correctly, but <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, so I'm going to talk briefly about uh, uh, choranchial carcinoma uh, or CCA is a major public health problem in Southeast Asia. So as, especially in Thailand, my hometown, uh, the prevalence and incident of CCA in Thailand and Southeast Asia are much higher than other area around the world. So uh, if you can see the, the map here, is uh, the small one is uh, Thailand here, is uh, higher in incident of CCA and also a mortality rate and higher than around the world. So the culture and traditions of eating raw and fermented are pickle or undercooked keeping on fish uh, is the key factor of the liver food or piece to kiss infections. So people uh, have uh, cash fish and get fit and share with the neighbor and then spread the uh, the river food. So the OV infections produce a hepatic bile duct and portal connective issue inflammation. So the chronic infection and inflammation have been uh, indicated to be risk factors for the development of multiple stages of uh, carcin carcinogenesis. If you see in this picture, uh, the last one is here is the northeast of Thailand. It's my hometown. So. Uh, the, the CCA rate is very high here. It's, you can see the uh, relationship between the, the CCA rate and the prevalence of OV infection is uh, red and orange is very high here. So the several uh, policy has been deployed over so 40 years to prevent the CCA in Thailand. So the incident of CCA started decreasing after 2002. Uh, in 2015, the current Joe Carcinoma Screening and Care Program of CASCAP uh, by Concan University Thailand aimed to eliminate OV infections and uh, CCA. So CASCAP is a prospective cohort study, including a screening and patients cohort. So the cohorts and electronic health record in Thailand, they collect the data about the patient demographics, uh, clinical phenotypes with features that have uh, Compact, uh, complex relationships. So, so each database representing data element in different way and the standard. So these are two main data sources for CCA in Thailand. So the first one is a uh, health data center, which is uh, the EHR data warehouse for public hospital across the countries. Uh, it contains data information about the patients with or suspected of suffering from CCA, including a symptom, clinical uh, finding, treatment, or diagnosis. So the SDC used ICD-10 type modification version for this standard. On the other hand, CASCAP is the largest and most comprehensive databases about OECCA. So it is a resource-based data elements that capture detail about CCA uh, more specific than those in ICD-10. So they collect data based on sick data collection forms. So it's about uh, data demographic information. They use this one to screening participants to the cohort. Uh, and they have a uh, outer sound screening form. And, and another one is CISO uh, 02.1 is a confirmatory diagnosis form they use to confirm the outer sound screening that uh, suspects patient with CCA with uh, using a MRI or CT scan or other procedure. And then diagnosis treatment and final stretching diagnosis. And the last form is a post or operation follow up form. 
So working with data from different sources uh, and standards pose the challenge of uh, comparability. So this work aimed to address the problem of indicating and analyzing data about patient with CCA that originates from a diverse source in order to investigate least factor for CCA. And so data is from uh, EHR and research based I think it's, it's made it possible to mass participant from East databases who receive treatment in the hospital and also participate in the, the research project that we can investigate the CCA outcomes. So, so we want to combine the data from different sources using uh, the application like ontology. So to facilitate, uh, facilitate data integration and ensure we understand of its meaning. So let's talk about a little bit about our current geocarcinoma ontology or CCAO. So CCAO is uh, an application ontology intended to represent data elements about our current geocarcinoma and patient finding related to CCA, that the sick form that I talking about before. So CCA, uh, CCAO follow the obo Fari and uh, develop it using a uh, uh, web ontology language. So Classes were imported from auto ontologies, uh, just as, uh, especially in the form of Obo just as Uber Orns. So in the development of CCAO, so we have worked to improve the compatibility of imported class with uh, BFO. So many terms related to CCA in the CCA form, so is uh, not matched with existing ontology classes. So we hear new classes and needed. Okay, so uh, let I say before, CCO is a big developed based on the data item from the cash cap form that uh, we use in uh, in Thailand. So all variable names and data elements from the cash cap term of cash cap form, sorry, were used to search an ontology and auto web ontology web browser for matching with uh, exit ontologies. So these are the overview of development of CCA. So the first one, we translate uh, the form because it's in Thai language. So we translate to English and then uh, we map we map data item to classes in access ontologies with uh, this list here. And so we are also uh, recreating terms based on the NCIT classes so I will talk uh, a bit later. So we define new classes based on the, an NCAT term and also create a new a data item based on the CCA form which is not matched with the uh, existing ontology. So, and then we importing uh, relevance classes using robot. And then uh, the last one is uh, listening. We remove early relevant classes and move class under the BFO and OGMS and also check with the Arizona to uh, prevent the conflict in the axiom. And then it's a summary of a class that we have in our initial version line now. And let me see, I, I, so, so for mapping of NCAT classes, so we use uh, about a hundred NCAT classes at the basis of new CISO classes. So, so this class uh, need to represent data elements on the CCA02 to CCA05 forms and are classified under the top level ontology class in OGMS or BFO. So uh, because uh, NCAT provide, uh, because our ontology is about cancer, so we first start using our NCAT as a bed for our development, but when, uh, we, so when we, we import and we have some problem with the, the hierarchy and difficult to merging NCT class to BFO or OGBS hierarchy. So we, we create a new class of CCAO similar to CAT uh, to NCAT. So, and then we, we can like, or write more proper definition and make the class um, compatible with OGMS and BFO. 
and then uh, we create a new class of uh, CCL classes. So we develop about 200 new classes along with a new definition based on data dictionary of our CCA forms and uh, literature. For example, this one is uh, the intrahepatic choroneal carcinoma. The so definition is a choroneal carcinoma that arises from uh, intrahepatic bile duct epithelium in any side of uh, the intrahepatic bile tree. Also provide a logical uh, definition. Here, this is a uh, the current job customer hierarchy in the CCO. And you can see on GitHub, and I see this is a logical definition of a uh, digital periductal infiltrating current job carcinoma. And so, I the data we use in this study that I talked before, we have for about six year period data about our verbal screening data set. Uh, outer cell screening data sets and our symptom and diagnosis from the ESR. And we did some example of enlistment analysis here that we can use from uh, our ontology. So this is the example of a patient with uh, periductal fibrosis of PDF with uh, a diagnosis with CCA or have a related symptom with CCA compare with the patient with PDF in the entire patient population. So we found that the periductal type three is the most enlist terms among the other PDF type. Uh, so the onsite also significant. And so the least out from our work is similar to the uh, Shamadon, uh, which indicate that PDF three associated with early state of CCA compared with non-PDF. So we're going to use, we're going to explore more about uh, our ontology and we, we use the enlist result used for the form hypothesis that can be tested using our uh, statistic methods. And we are also uh, developing the first order logic asymmatization uh, using common logic in the same format in order to render the C0 fully uh, compatible with the BFO form ontology 2020 uh, to allow uh, for the reasoning, let's go beyond mere classification. So this allow for the formal integration of term from non-BFO compatible ontologies, such as our synomate CT uh, by relating variable that stand for the particular and so the two concept using non-time index individual of predicate. And this is an example of the, uh, the CRIF file. So it's, uh, we, we develop XCM to differentiate interhepatic CCA from perihelial CCA and this one. Okay, uh, we can see this one in, in a poster uh, in the afternoon. So, so CCA is uh, developed under uh, BFO. So it's a standard for upper level now. And CCO is uh, publicly available on GitHub, respectively. So if you guys have uh, any suggestion, because it's, this is the early development, so any suggestion, please reach out to me or uh, Dr. Dill. And yeah, so I think, uh, yeah, so CCO is compatible with uh, expansion to represent a new evidence and knowledge not to be part of this uh, initial version. So we're gonna work more on, on this CCO. And yeah, I would like to thank our, my colleague and this organization for support uh, in this, this work. Thank you. Thank you, Anwar. Uh, we have time for a few questions. Thank you. Um, that was a uh, uh, Thank you for uh, for giving us a great talk. Uh, so I'm also looking at the I think we take the same thing as you that the NCI concerns is great, right? There's no good thing for there, but still the general vehicle is fine, right? Very testy. And uh, it's open. 
So the thing you're doing, right? Rewrites the tasks, putting it in the right spot. Is that really the way to go? Um, because that's said that generic, maybe it's not a question. Is this the way to do it? Or should we do it differently and then ask NCI Pretorius, which is I think the most piece of one to be, to start working their way through being more vehicle compliant? And how do you link that to NCI Pretorius and work on? Okay, so uh so yeah, thank you for the question. Uh we we start working with NCIT and the, the problem we experience is so first is about uh, we got unnecessary terms coming with uh, with we don't want the classes yeah so first one and, and another one is uh, it's hard to uh, test our uh, classes NCT classes under BFO or OGMS because uh, NCT have uh, like a Maybe, uh, for example, the, the, the top level class like uh, this is this on top uh, this order and fighting they make it together, and so Doctor Deal suggests me to oh, okay why don't we use uh, the information and creating a new new terms and make a cost leveling using a uh, uh, the cost map is yes yeah, cost map in our ontology. That they can link to the original terms, yeah. and maybe another can give more about the question. Yeah, I was going to run. There's a couple of possible things that we've taken note of. One paper by um, um, maybe a very popular in the field from the by Stephen Scott, the chair of representation of ontology, which is quite a long approach. I think you know it's such a very practical way to. But also, a lot of these classes have multiple presence of mind up. Um, and the one they tell us is that you know, helping you know, work with you to kind of get something that is, you know, maybe it won't you know, fully implement the whole other model, but it can get you somewhere towards the end of the piece that is the greatest. Thank you. And that is time for lunch.